Hey, what's up guys? I'm Brian Rogers Jr. I'm a commercial photographer and digital artist, and today I've got a little quick tip for you. I'm gonna show you how to get rid of all those unused layers in your Photoshop documents before you save everything out to archive it. This will be a pretty quick video, so let's jump into it. Okay, so we're in Photoshop. I've got this design document open up here, and this header image is actually something I created for an F-Stoppers article that I had recently written about PSB support now being in Lightroom, which is a really big deal for a lot of Photoshop and Lightroom users. If you're interested in checking that out, I will link to that below. But basically right here, you'll notice that I've got a, a lot of layers that were unused, and that's because kind of throughout the design process of doing this, you try things, sometimes they don't work out, and then you end up having a bunch of extra layers that you don't use. So what you can do before you save this file out and archive it, put it on a hard drive, you know, back it up, all that stuff, what you can do is get rid of all of these unused files. This one's actually pretty small, so it would be pretty easy just to see which ones are unused here, and you can just delete them one by one. But I wanted to show you guys a little tip that I've discovered. This has been in Photoshop for a long time, but I haven't really put it to use. But it's really cool because you can filter all of the layers that you have in your document. You can filter it by the kind, you can filter it by the name, so you can actually type in a name here. You can filter it by effect, so you can go through and choose an effect that you might have applied as a layer style. You can choose the blend mode, so if you have a specific blend mode applied to any images, you can actually select all of those. But the one that we're gonna use here is we're going to use attribute. Now, there's a little toggle switch here. I can turn that on and off to reveal all my layers or just the, the layers that are visible. If we click on this little guy here, we can actually choose different types of attributes. So if you have locked layers, you can choose locked layers. If you have any empty layers in your Photoshop document, this would actually reveal all of the empty layers. They have nothing in it. So sometimes you might have layers like that where maybe you created a new layer and then you just totally forgot to use it or whatever the case is. What we're gonna choose today though is not visible. And by choosing that, what it's gonna do is it's gonna show us all the layers that we didn't use. So if I toggle that on and off, you'll see the layers that we are using in combination with the ones that we didn't use. And then if I toggle that back on here, you'll see that all the layers we didn't use actually show up. So all you have to do is click on these and then delete them. So if you just uh, shift select these, you can just hit the delete key and it will get rid of all those unused layers. And so when we toggle this back, you'll notice that now we have a nice clean Photoshop document that we can actually save out and archive. All right guys, so there you have it. There's a quick and easy way to filter all those unused layers that you had in your Photoshop document. So that way you have a cleaner file and you can save that out and archive it. Until next time, I'll see you guys in the next one.